everyone. Hello people, welcome to the 45th episode of the Clyde Grove podcast. Um, I've got quite a bit in theory to talk about. Whether it will actually end up being that much, um, I don't know. There are plenty of times where I feel Oh yeah, I've got a lot to talk about. And then, turns out, I don't. But there will say times where it's the opposite. So it's sort of 50-50. Which, yeah. That's something, at least. Um, but yeah. Let's go and talk about some stuff. So let's do some video recap first. So... I have got, when was the last thing, here it is, so since the last video, first off, I thought this laptop was dead, fixing the Ryzen Asus laptop, which, you might be able to work out by the weird config that I've got, but, I'm on the laptop right now, and um, let me get, um, this so clean the earth fetch. Um let's change the thing. Oh it's not working wise. No. Oh, there we go. Here's the terminal. That's the terminal. Um I could do that to make it bigger. Yeah. These are dust in the fetch. Um, one of those annoying art cheeses. I use arch, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah. So, there's that. So it's got 8 gigs of RAM currently. It will eventually be upgraded to 16, let's be real. Um, I believe the RAM... I believe it is Fay 200 megahertz RAM, which I believe on CX, this is probably the God knows podcast in a row where I check CX for something. Fay 200 megahertz laptop RAM. I think this, uh, for some weird reason, scrolling gestures not working annoyingly. Um, yeah, 10 quid. And where's stock available? Um, various places. Yep. So there's that. Do not have tears? I don't have enough money for it because currently I have. I don't want to look at this as if it's going to change, but I have 35p in my bank account right now, so there's that. Um, yeah, um, yeah. I've currently got 120 gig SSD that will eventually be upgraded to something more. Um, you know. And, yeah. It's, it's so weird having a decently specced laptop with, like, a decent amount of RAM. Just saying. Um... Do that, make the window wider. What genius idea, Nick. Here we go. Beam. Technically, I can still see your face. But there you go. Genius. Um, yeah. After that video, saying not much content. Ironically, 
it looks like I'm going to be stacked with content um, over the next few days because um, my CPU should be arriving very very soon because it's now in the UK so they may be tomorrow but maybe more like Monday you never know um, and then I've got um, some RAM arriving for my PowerMac G5 quad, which should be tomorrow. Um, which I'll make a video about. Um, yeah. Do you see eggs? I know this is a pretty silly question. Do they sell like blank DVDs? Yes. No, that's a disk drive. And did I sell a Blu-ray drive? 18 quid, but it's out of stock. Mm. I've got an optical drive. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Twelve x Blu-ray writer, twenty-eight quid. Six x Blu-ray. That's like the one I've got here. Well, I don't think it's got LG. Does that say light scribe? Or am I losing my mind? No, I don't think so. Do you have light scribe drives? That's the question. Um, but yeah. All sorts of drives. It's deep blue ray drives. What what's like the cheapest blue ray drive you've got? It's an I you can get IDE blu rays. Oh that's cursed. Also there out of stock annoyingly. Out of stock. 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 Do I have any Blu-ray drives in stock. Our stock, our stock, our stock. Yeah, it looks like they've got literally... Yeah, they've got none in stock. How annoying. If you do this... And this... Look... Of this, mm -hmm. it's twenty four x the fastest you can go. I guess in so. Um. Yeah, I don't seem to specify if they have light light scribes. Shame. Um, let's see what a Blu-ray seater looks like. Um, hit that tops. I see HD DVD as well. And it's got light scribe. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> that is, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
This is like the best thing ever. A slightly manufactured date. I'm interested. February something. I don't know, it's going to be like 2008 or something. But oh my god. Um, that is amazing. Oh my god. No, there's another one here. Uh, that one doesn't have. Like, scribe. Hmm. Looks like the speeds of that drive. Do you see X? I will say. Do you anything to do with HG DVD? I love any. HGTV theme movies in stock. Oh, that's in stock. Oh, yeah, they do have stuff in stock, which is like ridiculous. HGTV. What's I'm sorry, but oh my god. This is amazing. They have HTC for the units in the store. I find it hilarious. That like trade ins for HD DVDs are one pound. And one P, I mean. Well, that's not one P. That's actually ten P. Wow, massive achievement. <laughs> God. Like seriously, this is just hilarious. <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm just surprised. About them having this many in stock. I wonder what's like the nearest store that was in stock. Wait, they have HD DVDs in stock in. Um, <laughs> oh, I just find it. Amazing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just blown. Anyways, <laughs> continuing on. Next video is my iMac G5. A year later, with iMac G5 Adventures Episode 3. And I'll basically talk about it basically not working, really. After that, my new website and iMac 2007 CPU info. Um, yeah, I'm good now. I'll talk about my new website, which is currently accessible with plugway.neocities.org. And I've got it's broken on here for some weird reason, so um, it's like a weird cache this year. So if you go on like a Firefox base browser, don't worry, it won't actually be that broken. 
Um, I just need to set up a window capture for this. Um, let's see in Firefox. Okay. Um, so go to cloudrunners. It is dog. This is probably one of the most polished things I've ever made. And I need to sort of resize it and also zoom out. Just make sure it fits on screen. Because, uh, yeah, it's not really... Come on. It's not really um, scalable yet. Um, oh, it's too zoomed out. Okay. Give it. Okay. Don't know what's going on there. It's a bit weird. It's off centered. Anyways, this is the new Cloudgro website. Um, I, th I really don't know what to say apart from this looks ridiculously nice. Like, genuinely, I'm, I'm really proud of it. Um, yeah, it's got a light mode, it's got a dark mode. Here's the light mode. And you gotta admit, this looks really nice. <laughs> um, like, oh my god, it's just like the best thing ever to exist. Now, there is one sort of big issue currently with this, which is quite annoying, but. The navigation doesn't work on sort of older browsers and Palming, which sort of in itself is sort of an older browser, but sort of not really. Which is quite a big problem. And that's probably one of the big roadblocks of this being like outright my new website. And then alongside of that is the lack of like mobile optimization now the mobile optimization optimization thing theoretically should be quite an easy problem to solve but the navigation i have honestly no clue um but yeah it might be because of the ids i believe these buttons for like my social media links work but not the, like the tab button so the view post buttons don't ask why because i don't know um but yeah maybe if i change them to classes it'll magically work yeah so it's a search feature here which i did today um so the did um, this, but it, it works. Um, it does look a bit out of place. It feels like there should be a lot of buttons here and here, but there isn't. If I'm being honest, I don't know how to make it less weird. But, oh well. It's here now. It looks really nice. So I cannot complain. Also changed this table to have like gradients, and it really looks nice. It really adds sort of depth to it. Um, yeah, it just looks so nice. Can't admit, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, and then if going to like here, I forgot to actually fix this bit being centered yeah so probably by the time you see this this might be centered these images added way more today um because literally before it was just four images now it's you know however many that is can't be bothered to count it's like my little projects page um looks really nice um branding here's the branding 
Um, that looks wrong. That looks more rounded than it should be. These should be like sort of rounded squares, but they sort of look, you know, like pill shaped, which is really weird. I don't know what's going on there. Um, contacts looks like that. I mean, I think it it looks just more rounded than it should be. Um, yeah. So here's like my contacts. Yet to add signal. Oh, this is outdated. I need to update that. Um, that's quite an easy fix. Neosis.org. And just sign in. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, this is like really nice. And modern feeling compared to what I've got. So here's the contact. Um. Yes, it'd be like so. I don't get why they're in p tags each time. To be honest, that should be necessary. Sixteen, and it needs to be in. Oh, actually, I think it's to do with the keyboard. Um, thing. and up to date. Amazing. Yeah, so this looks really nice. And then there's credits for all of these things. Um, yeah, let's put that on screen. Um, but yeah. And then there's these A8 by A8x31s. This actually isn't A8 by 31 I don't know why it's not A8 by 31, it should be. But yeah. And. Got. Various things. Down here. I honestly just love this website's design. It's not. It doesn't look much like what the original plan was. I still think it looks really, really nice. So there's that. Like, seriously, this looks so nice. <laughs> but yeah. Like, oh, I just genuinely love this website design. Um, yeah, these will be like little icons eventually for the um, gallery, um, which will hopefully look a lot nicer. Um, in future. Things to change? I don't really think so. Well, the background will eventually be changed to something a bit more like high quality. And yeah. This needs an icon. It's hard to find an icon for K bin. Like just an icon. That's in like SVG form. We had checked at least. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this. But one thing I will say is 
signal. Now, let's be real. Um, so for those unaware, Signal have added user names to their thing. I've got to be careful with what I show because it will show my phone number. But um, going like here, you know, here's what it looks like to you. So annoying scroll wheel. Um, scroll trackpad scrolling not working but like yeah you can scroll and it works and then here you go yeah hi now um, oh wait, you can't even see it. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Here you go. Um, so. Um, do that. Uh, that looks awkward. So what I'll do is I'll send this to desktop to this to the side. Expand the window. That was basically perfect. Here's what it looks like. On the desktop. Um, yeah. Is electron of all things, so immediate thumbs down. And guess what? There isn't a web app. Apparently, this is for security reasons, but that just sounds like the type of nonsense like banks do for various things for security reasons. No, you're doing it to be an absolute asshole to the users that's what you're doing um but yeah there are also various other problems i have with signal number one it's centralized you can't like have like multiple servers federate with each other which is ridiculous um and then also, it feels sort of not nice to use. Um, yeah. Now, up here is you know, another thing I was saying. You know, like what the bank say. For your security, chat history isn't transferred to new linked devices. Which is just ridiculous. No. Also, this is above the text. Sorry about that. No, I don't, I want my, to read my chat history on devices. If I get, you know, a new Linux install and then maybe like I flash my phone with like a custom ROM, guess what? My chat history is gone. Who thought that is a good idea? It's just bad design. And being an asshole to the user. At the very least, have it as an option. An optional option that you could turn on. If it, even if it isn't default, it's still better than this. Just think about it. Hmm. Yeah, also, I think the app looks ugly. Um, let's be real. Telegram and WhatsApp have a really nice design. They basically look identical, like very similar, those two, which is why I sort of grouped them together. They have a really nice design. It works. And yeah. And then you've got Signal with like a really ugly design. And yeah, it's just not nice to use. I'm just saying. Um, and then, yeah. Just, mm. Yes, so, 
yeah, I'd rather not use signal. Also, the apparently the sort of like anti spam protection is proprietary for security reasons. Woohoo! Um, which totally does not sound dodgy at all in any way, shape, or form. But yeah. I mean, it's better than, like, Telegram, where, like, I believe their server is closed source, and, you know, WhatsApp, where the whole thing is closed source. But, like, come on. Stop making things worse. Um, yeah, it's just not nice to use. I don't like it. Um, and if I'm being honest... Go contribute to Matrix or XMPP instead of making this absolute shit protocol. I've been honest. I know that's just going to annoy people. I know there are people like, oh, but actually, they've added so much recently, therefore they're good. Do you realise Signal has existed for almost 10 years at this point and only recently they've decided to add usernames and like phone number privacy stuff. Also, people are saying, oh, um, your phone number is way more secure than a die username or whatever, like using your username to log in or whatever. <laughs> Do you realise that you are actually stupid for thinking about that? Because if you go create an account on the Faithverse, um, I don't know, Discord, YouTube, you know, whatever. Do you know what they use to create an account? It's called an email. And it's used basically everywhere online. And, you know, reason, so I've seen enough, I've just remembered the reason why people would say, oh, yeah, but phone number's bare. Security. You don't own your phone number. You don't own your SIM. You don't own it. That's not very secure. You absolutely, though, can have, you can definitely own your own email server, your email, email address. You can own that stuff. You can't own your phone number. <laughs> so, like, well, now I think people are thinking. Yeah, it's just annoying, let's be real. I guess another thing I should talk about, because I honestly did not expect it today. Let me get my Mercury window back on the screen. Honestly, just was not expecting this today. I was thinking about this a couple of days ago, to be honest. And I know it's just like an announcement. Um, um, <laughs> that's who I think I am. I am absolutely. Um, but...
this has happened. I'll put the link in the description. Copy it. I don't need to copy anything else. But. Amazing Digital Circus. Has got. Sort of like. An update and preview as the title says. Well I say as the title says. This is this should be another thing I should talk about. So this is actually. An extension. I can't remember what it's called. The Arrow. Which I guess is an alright name. I'd say. Clickbait blocker. I think that's a better title. Um, what this is. A really good extension. If you look at these two extensions, you might be thinking, oh, they're made by the same person. And you're absolutely right, this is made by the sponsor block person. Um, now, the arrow is an extension that can replace titles of videos and thumbnails of videos with different ones. You might be asking, what's the point? This is basically to get rid of horrible clickbait content. Which, if you think about it, but like, just get rid of the horrible things. I want to see what the video is about. I think, you know, a good example, and, you know, I find it funny, but um, it's an example they use in with sponsor block, but I immediately instinctively did um Linus um Linux instead of Linus go away go away you don't deserve I'm not giving them any description time but look at this these have actual titles and thumbnails that makes sense. I will play this extension called D Arrow Fi and one of the few original thumbnails visible here has an arrow in it. I'm just saying how I like so what on earth says that thing. Yeah. Look at this, this is actual non clickbait videos. And God knows what the original video titles are. There. Right. This is just horrible. And then just press this button. Why is it so slow to pop, pop up? Enable. Might need to refresh. No, nope, there we go. Look. Actual titles that you can understand. No clickbait. Nothing. Why on earth has it taken this long? for it to be made I don't know but I am so happy that it exists oh, well actually I don't think it's actually that new I think it's saw the po the post I saw for this was like nine months old I must say but oh my god this extension thumbs up I approve now to be fair there is a weird thing but it's not now, the extension is open source. Cool. Just like sponsor block. 
What I'd argue is questionable though is this extension sort of like weirdly paid. So from what I can tell, I'm not certain about this. But you in installed it and it won't work. It will ask you to pay for it. I think it asks for a dollar, which isn't too bad, but the reality is I'm too poor for that. Um, anyways, I do think paying for an extension is a bit of a stretch. Um, yeah, so I it lets you have a free trial. I think it's supposed to be an hour, but I think it just sort of worked the whole time. Yeah, so the idea is you got to pay um, if you want it instantly after installing it, or you've got the free trial, or after around 24 hours, you get full access to the extension. Now, with your free trial, it seems like well, it seems like you was not able to um, edit um, titles and stuff, like titles and thumbnails, but I've got full access now, so I'm able to do it. Honestly. I love this extension already. And you can also change this and change the title format even, which is, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is some flying update and preview. And it's so cool seeing actual new content because, you know, it's been a couple of months. Arguably, you could say last time there was new content, digital circus content, was Glitch X, and then there was a merch video before that. Or was it the other way around? No, fair. Why are the subtitles not working? Oh, it's changed to Chinese, that's why. Um, oh, wait, I'll to get audio track. Um, oh, come on. Wait, the English subtitles are gone? Yeah, why have the English subtitles just disappeared? They were here and... Uh, well, actually, they weren't. Okay, I'm, I was confusing because I was watching the first episode earlier. That the subtitles. Okay. Whatever. So, <laughs> there's some various things. Go watch it. You've not gained audio, and all you're seeing is what you're seeing. So, I'm giving you reason to actually. And watch the video. Um, unlike you know a lot of people. So this is them talking about like the horrible content farms that I've generated because they use yeah digital circus content, which I find quite funny. They admit it exists, and they say oh good, and then. <laughs> So, thing with the shotgun, new thing they've got, or well, stadium, that looks like. Thing about the sun actually getting lines, which I, I sort of, we I saw this video for the first time, I didn't really think about but like, yeah, they didn't have like any lines at all. The moon was the one with lines, um, and then... Yeah, and then they show new characters. Um, yeah, I'll just go and slow it down. I, 
But um, um, yeah, look. So these are like the new characters. Um, the blue one really reminds me of the like weird shadow cat characters in murder drones. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah. And then, what else do they say? Oh yes, the violent shipping wars that they cannot control. Which I find funny, once again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't get this initially but this is fake merch he just randomly turns into fake merch um, <laughs> and then um, bubble thing what is the name I can't remember just spawns out of Pomni's mouse which I just find so funny <laughs> and it's like in <laughs> I, I, I just found that so funny and then um yeah there's merch and they're re releasing a vinyl which oh my god I want that to be honest don't have the money no. Um more merch. I mean this is all merch. Sort of towards the end. Um I think that was after this. Yeah, this is like list of the merch. It's thirty quid. Which is a lot. I mean, it's not actually too bad for vinyl. When I was saying that, that's going to be a single vinyl, which is going to be a bit expensive, let's be real. But, oh my god. I do want some of this merch, or at least one of these merches. Um, yeah, new episodes come out when they're ready. And, um, um, yeah, they're planning to drop episode two, um, around May, which, when you think about that, that's basically two months away ish. Because it's almost March, which is like ridiculous. Let's be real. But yeah, go give this a watch. I did miss a couple bits of info, semi intentionally, because yeah. So it looks like they're playing to have multiple, I bet there'll be like one towards the end, maybe there'll be three this year, who knows, it's exciting, I'm really excited for this, I want this, it's something, you know, I've been excited for, yeah, since episode one, the pilot, you know, I'm excited for episode two, it's just so nice seeing fresh content, um, but yeah, I need to try and hold back. I want to like show you more of this, but let's be real. Do this, and there's more reasons to for you to watch it. So I'll I'll close the tab to try and get me to not say more info about it. But yeah, I'm so excited for episode two. Um, and now I'm gonna do a fresh YouTube tab once again because I'm 
for a different reason. I should move my camera down slightly. Um, yes, yeah, so 21 pilots I'm going to talk about. Their new album, well, their new album, it's sort of been rumoured to be releasing on the 17th of May, which is also May, therefore two months away, um, pretty much, and, well, I say that, it will start being two months away, um, but yeah, that is also really exciting, I want it to be May so badly, Um, but, um, yeah, and yes, not yesterday, I think it's two, on Wednesday, released a video, or maybe it was yesterday, whatever, they released a video titled Iron Plants here, and it's basically a law video, and then at the end of the video, uh, I'm going to have to feature this as well. I'll co keep this tab open so I can copy the link in the description. But, towards the end, um, there's noises. You're going to have to watch this to hear it because I want to give you a reason to watch this. But, there's noises which is exciting and then logo drop <laughs> honestly I'm happy that I've gone back to the this logo um, however I will say let's be real the 2011 regional best and vessel logo is really the main logo I just want to return I'd honestly rather have that than this but it's a step in the right direction think about it like that and I am more than truly excited and basically the release date um, for the song people have been saying is the 29th now, as far as I'm aware, there's no, no one's, well, I saw a video on my feed, but I'm, let's be real, I'm going to go on the subreddit just because this is sort of a good place for discussion. Um, but yeah, it's like Lord Mega Thread thing, whatever this is. And yeah, they did like red tape to their album covers and all of that. Um, yeah, um, oh, they came up with the left cool. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, it's like a bunch of really weird, like, in-depth law stuff that I honestly could not pay attention to. Um, um, and close captions in show I live stream version. Um... Interesting. Yeah, so people are saying oh it might be Inferno. I think someone else said Phoenix whatever. Um Clancy, yeah. I think that's plausible because on the billboards it did say Clancy. 
and it says I am Clancy. Um, okay. Um, what? <laughs> God. Um, 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 oh, panic people have been copied right strokes for the end music. Do I mean copyright strikes or do I mean copyright claims? Um, yeah. Although, I don't have to override scrolling down. Yeah, and then there's also like a playlist for this. Um, yeah, I guess the next thing to talk about um, is these because you might not know what they are I'll probably be making a video of these as well I kind of forgot to say this earlier what these are is an iPad camera connection kit and I got it from CX for 50p for all of this. It's also like two booklets, but who cares about them? Um, yeah, so one of these is a fairy pin to USB, and one of the, the other one is a fairy pin to SD card reader. I hope to use them. And uh, maybe like see if I can get a keyboard and mouse connected using this. It's probably like some sort of. I'm pretty sure it's a jailbreak tweak to um have use keyboard and mouse on like old versions of iOS. I'm talking like iOS five era stuff. Um, and then maybe I can do more file system browsing with. This with you know, like I file, but yeah, so it's been quite a long one today. Um, but yeah, so I think I should give some ideas for next week's videos. Also, I thought this is so weird to think about, so ridiculous, but in a week, it'll be. The 1st of March. And. As I've said quite a bit of times before. The plan is. To stop doing. Daily videos. Once February ends. And then start doing. Quality the quantity videos which is just crazy that it's at this point already just feels like it I feels like in the same time it feels like this year has gone relatively like time has gone relatively slowly this year but Yeah. Now, of course, February is a short month, although it's a day longer, thanks to it being a leap year, which has not happened for four years, and won't happen for another four years after this. Won't happen until 2028. Um. Now, I right. 
it's just ridiculous. So, I guess maybe you technically my last bit of daily video will actually be on the 1st of March and it'll be in another episode of the Clockwork Podcast. But I'm not certain. I'm not sure. It's all subject to change. So, the only way to find out is to wait. Um, and we've got most of the yellow part mark. I was sort of mostly just to get this episode over for the hour mark. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, oh yeah, I guess this I did also talk about this for two different reasons. So maybe so let's get some ideas of videos I'll be doing in the near future. So first one will be to do with these iPad connectors so see what I can do with them. After that probably um depends on when they arrive but um I'll do a video about my about me upgrading the RAM in my Pamac G5 quad. Um, I'll do another video um, of me upgrading the CPU in my Pamac G5. Um, not oh, not Pamac G5. I mean iMac 2007. Um, um, oh good. I think got more video ideas, right? Than that. Named three video ideas. Um, camera, RAM, CPU. I've gone blank. Whatever. I think you get the point. That's three videos. So uh, that. And give me covered until 26th, assuming they arrive like that. Um, but yeah, choose that gives me three empty video ideas. Now, also, another thing that's uh, said has been happening is, um. You know, I've been talking about Patreon where, you know, like, they get early access to videos. Over the past week now, I've not really been given access to early access videos. And if I'm being honest, that probably still won't be the case. Until, I, as I said, I stop doing the videos. I'll probably give Patreons maybe... A few days early access of videos, maybe a week. I doubt that might be a bit ridiculous. Um, but um, yeah, early access videos will start happening though when I stop doing daily videos. I just do regular videos, videos of an unspecified pace. Of release, but yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed this, and goodbye.